Hey everyone, it's Gerald here. In this video, I want to go over NEO stock. It's a heavily requested stock, obviously one of the most traded stocks uh, in terms of trading volume out of the uh, stock market right now. And we'll take a little dive into it and why I believe the stock is due for a significant pop in the short to medium term. So first and foremost, this stock right now on a technical basis has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight red trading days in a row. A technical basis, we wicked off of this prior off, off of earnings. We are an area of interest that area of interest being an area of major demand. Off of that wick, huge wick off of here, we had a pretty much same thing again. I see a pop right over to the moving average on a percentage basis. We are currently trading rough here. This is about an 18% jump off, off of current levels. Obviously, you're up five, you're up 10%, take your profits, but I believe in the very short term, we are due for a bounce, right? This company is trading an RSI of 33.43 on a fundamental basis. This company, why is this company falling down, right? This company hasn't reached a lot of its sales prospects that it's been pretty much preaching to its shareholders. Overall, the EV sector has been decreasing. Obviously, everyone knows what's going on with Tesla stock. The share price has significantly fallen past year. Overall, why are EV sales slowing down? I went over this in my prior YouTube video, but overall, think about the current macro economic conditions that we're currently in with high interest rates. Obviously, people are not gonna be purchasing cars, expensive cars, albeit Neo being a luxury car, Tesla being a luxury car, if you can call it that, a premium car, I would say. No one's gonna be purchasing a premium car fully in cash, right? People are gonna be pulling out loans. And obviously, with the current high interest rates, there's gonna be less demand with the car. Less demand, decreasing uh, revenue. That's gonna overall decrease a lot of the margins that the company, especially Tesla has, because they need to institute incentives for the company. That's gonna overall bring down the share price, overall bring down the whole share price of the EV landscape. So NEO trading alongside that, that's sort of where I see NEO is on a fundamental basis. Like I said, with EV sector as well as Tesla, these high interest rates are not gonna be permanent, right? Everybody knows in the coming six months to a year, there is plans for decreasing rates. Obviously, with the mass majority of people understanding that, less demand in the short term, but on a medium to longer term time frame, there's gonna be a shift in the interest rates. Demand will start increasing, in my opinion. Overall, increasing a lot of the share prices in the EV sector, of which one is NEO stock. So on a fundamental basis, that's where I see NEO pretty much sitting at over 52 week lows. We'll start diving a little bit more into it. So I am looking at NEO stock on a daily time frame, zooming out all the way back from 2021. This is the upper trend line. I'm gonna mark it every time it hits around roughly around this area. This is the upper trend line that I have. We recently hit this upper trend line and right over here had a rejection off of it. And let's mark the lower trend lines. And the lower trend line, you can see I started a trend line from here to here and extended it. Every time we hit that lower trend line, had a bounce off of it, bounce, 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 and so forth. Obviously, we can get into that lower trend line roughly around this 382 level, which would be an area of very, very strong demand. But on a short, shorter term time frame, where I see NEO stock trading on eight consecutive red days on a row off of rejection off of the 50 moving average, now into an area of demand prior wick of, off of earnings. This is a very compelling buy in the short term, right? NEO stock trading an RSI of 33.43. If I'm taking a zoom out, every time this stock was trading roughly around this moving, this RSI, you can see roughly around here, had a bounce, significant bounce from there, roughly right here, bounce off from there, here, short bounce, roughly around here, bounce and so forth. So that's NEO on a grand scale of things, currently trading on a falling wedge, sort of in the middle of this falling wedge off of a rejection off of the moving average. However, had eight red trading days in a row, RSI of 33.43, had an area of demand. This is a very compelling buy in the short term. I expect a pop up in NEO stock. I want you guys to pretty much check back on this stock in the coming days. I believe we'll get a four, five, 10% pop in the coming days. What I like to do with NEO or any Chinese stocks when I'm trading them, I wanna correlate it with the Hang Seng Index, which is pretty much the spy of the Chinese stock market, right? It's the indices of the Chinese market. We'll take a look into that. You can see here, we had a short-term bounce off of the 50 moving average and overall a retrace back into a key Fibonacci that I drew. Had a support off of it. You can see this hammer candle right there. And overall, I see the stock heading, or overall, I see the indices trading upwards into the moving average, which will give us 
on an indice level, about a 5% pop, right? Of course, if an indices go up 5, 6%, other stocks will correlate to about a 7 to 10% raise into the stock. Also, a on a fundamental basis, this company is trading pretty much with no premium. It's trading at pretty much what it has in terms of cash at hand. No premium involved in this company. Whether that's warranted or not, that's up to your call. But on a fundamental basis, when I see a company that is pretty much trading at the level with its cash on hand, with no premium in the stock, no growth sort of projections into the company, that's when I start getting interested into a stock. And that's why I believe NEO is a compelling story. So that's overall my analysis of NEO stock. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys have any questions. Leave it there. I'll be there to answer for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and happy trading, guys.